Not a good day for uh, people here in Day Twat either. Uh, people, uh, I don't know if you know this, but uh, our stunning and brave, totally reelected governor decided to make an ass of herself. Although I'm not sure if that was uh, if she invited them up here or if they were dropped here by Governor <laughs> Abbott. But we have our own collection of uh, illegal immigrants up here. Now. Yeah, there's like 600 of them, from what I understand, from Venezuela. Great. And yeah, they're making asses of themselves. And breaking into homes of nimbiest li liberals who voted for the policies that yes. brought them here in the first place. And now, of course, they're bitching about it. We heard about it on Twatter today. It was sent to us by James, not to be confused with James Woods, who decided to retweet this. But, uh, yeah, here it is. A minute and 30 seconds. Thieves target multiple high-end homes. This is local news. Mm. Homes here in the gated community at the Country Club of Detroit in Gross Point Farms. The organized burglary teams hitting here over the last weekend. And if a home backs up to trees or woods, it becomes a target. Thieves hiding there until they see their chance. Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard first sounded the alarm in September after huge homes in Bloomfield Township were hit, then homes on private drives in Birmingham. The losses were in the millions. In our area, they are targeting jewelry, precious metals, high-end items such as purses, um, electronics, uh, currency, high-end watches, and if there's a safe that's not attached or they can either break into on scene or carry, they'll do that. Now remember, a team was arrested and charged in Bloomfield Township with a string of car break-ins and some burglaries. But tonight, sources continue to point to what the sheriff pointed to at the very start, that other organized teams out of South America <laughs> have been hitting high-end homes out west and now have made their home right here. Typically in our area, it's between 5 and 9 p.m. Uh, preferred targets on a lot of these across the country are homes that are isolated. They back up to wooded areas, trails, golf courses. Here's another thing that we're not hearing or seeing in these high-end burglaries. Look, there's no video of these guys. There's video cameras everywhere, especially on these homes, but they're able to get around that somehow. There are alarm systems all over these homes, in the homes, outside of the homes. They're getting around that, too. That all right. Oh, yeah. Dog. <laughs> yeah, dog. They won't get around a dog. Well, I mean, they could poison it if it's not really trained well, but true. But if it's in the house... At least alert you. And, uh, but yeah. he's saying between five and nine o'clock. That's the middle of the day, isn't it? That's pretty yeah. brazen, isn't that? You know, wow. Like, that's dinner time, early evening, family time for some people. Yeah. I tell you, man. I, I just, I, and I have no sympathy for anybody who voted for the politicians who wanted to just turn our border into Swiss cheese, yeah. or in this case, just roll out the fucking welcome mat. And this is what you get. This is what, yeah. And this is, and Steve and I have been covering this for the past three weeks. I just think it's weird that in such, like, and this is weird. I just think it's weird that in such nice, affluent areas where people have so much of like security, there's not like one, Evidently, one ring they camera. Don't. That's crazy. Or they have it but, and they don't want to tell on the people because they're wait brown. A wait a minute. That's, I mean, we've seen this. Yes. I, true. People, you know, women getting rapid and they're like, well, I don't really want to, to, to tell or, or, you know, the police come and pick up somebody that they've reported like, well, you're going to put them under arrest, but they're brown and people will think I'm racist if I reported them. Oh, my God, you can't arrest them. <laughs> well, then well then what did you call the cops for? You got to really ask, though, then when when should your problem really be my problem if you don't care? Well, first of all, it should be yeah. everyone's problem, because if you don't nip it in the bud it only grows the thing is this is all of our problems yes the issue is that you got all of these friggin morons they've been indoctrinated into the cult and now they don't want to get excommunicated from it so they're, they're like they're terrified that if they even acknowledge reality or facts mm-hmm you know, like, like the fact that there was this uh, piece of information that I couldn't even believe was posted on CNN's website today. Firearm homicide death rates by race. Oh, like, I, 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 I said here that in, to you, didn't Yeah, I? here in Michigan, for instance, per 100,000 people per, uh, yeah, per year, um, the uh, melanin challenged 1.52 per 100,000. Oh, wow. The melanin advantaged 49.14 wow. 
Wow. That is almost 40 times. It is 40 times. It is. Just roughly. It's 40 times. But if you point that out, they'll call you a racism, <laughs> I'm a numbers guy. Ugh. So am I. And, I, and if the numbers are this bad and they're deliberately trying to suppress these things when they come out in the news, what are the real numbers? Yeah, they're well, probably worse. Everyone just has to accept the fact that you're going to be labeled an istophobe igot. Yep. That word covers everything. So if anybody tries to blame you and shame you, just go, that's right, I'm an istophobe igot. Pound some fucking sand. You don't know what pounding sand is? Well, you take sand, and you mix it with water or maybe some diesel fuel. Get yourself a funnel and a ramming device and ram it all up your ass. A ramming device. It just sounds so bad. I'm just saying. Sounds, uh, what, is, what is that word that I'm looking for? Or, hmm. I don't know. Well, this will work. Emotional damage. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, uh, and this is only going to get worse. Yeah, it will. And sooner or later, I mean, it's already happening in New York. You're seeing a huge swing even in New York City. Like the the mayor of New York City is saying, like, we don't have room for them. And this is ridiculous. But then they're cutting prepaid credit cards. They're taking for the illegals. Like, away from vets to yeah, give them to the illegals. They're kicking people out of old folks homes who have paid to be there. Yeah. Wow, this, this is some ser- and, and it would be uh, not as bad if we had our mainstream media reporting on all of this, but they're not because they're all bought and paid for. You ain't kidding. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case of books.